Peaks of Health Metabolic Medical Center was established to address the underlying causes of disease. Instead of just treating the symptoms, Dr. Tracy Linhart is back to talk about helping one's joints. How are you, doctor? Welcome back. I am good. I love chatting with you. It's always so educational. And this time we're talking about joint injections, which I feel like you hear off and on, but I know you're gonna be able to take it a step further and kind of explain it a little bit more. Well, the thing with, um, you know, all of us are active and we're injuring things all the time. I'm really bad because I'm an extreme sportist, you know, and so I started getting into this because all of us are getting a little older too, mm -hmm. so I don't heal as easy as I used to. Um, so I started learning how to do joint injections in order to get the joints to heal instead of turning around and going to surgery all the time. Um, so Lord knows I've had enough of those. <laughs> so, you know, and it was for my own experience of injuring myself that I actually wanted to go learn. So I wanted to know what my options were. Mm -hmm. So one, a couple of things you can do is one is called prolozone. So we inject ozone into the joint. And I've had that done a few times on my knees because I play a lot of tennis. It helps them heal. It gives that high oxygen content. So for partial tears, ligamental injuries, things like that, they work really, really well. Um, and then if that doesn't work, you can do something called plasma-rich um, PRP. It's called plasma-rich protein. Yeah. So you can actually draw your blood out, get your growth factors in, kind of like your pre-stem cells, and inject that in there. And that works really, really well. And then, of course, there's the hot topic of stem cells themselves. Oh, yeah. Which so. I feel like the, the, the play replacement that you were just talking about, I feel like that's kind of a hot topic that I have heard mm -hmm. about before. This ozone one that you started with, you're talking like ozone like you think of atmosphere ozone, right? Yeah, it's O3. And I mean, O3 is really, you know, increasing the oxygen content of your own area. So what happens is these ligaments and tendons have very low blood supply. So they don't heal very well. So you can actually inject that in to the joint to increase that oxygen supply so they can heal on their own. So my question, I mean, as you were touching on, as we get older, there's aches, there's pains. Oh, my knee hurts, my hip hurts. When is it time to pick up the phone and give you a call to see if one of these injections could be right for a person maybe watching at home? I mean, like, for instance, I just recently, I had injured my shoulder. No, um, I had actually dislocated the biceps and partially tore the tendon. Oh, so it was either surgery, because my arm wouldn't move at all, that I called my orthopedic surgeon shortly afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and then we decided um, to inject stem cells into the joint, because I had to get back to work pretty quickly. So now we're talking, it would have been 12 weeks recovery from surgery. I'm eight weeks into stem cells, and I have full operational use of my arm uh, with no pain. Um, if somebody says in chronic pain and it's just not getting better, mm -hmm. that's the time to either see your doctor, your orthopedist, or, you know, us, because we do image first. Mm -hmm. I want to know what I'm injecting. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to know. Do they it's have, not a guessing game. It's not a guessing game. You know, you want to know if it's a partial tear, what's torn. If it's a complete tear, that's surgery. Mm -hmm. There, you know, it has to be connected still for anything that we do to heal it out. But partial tears, you know, can avoid surgery at times. And a lot of orthopedists are now doing stem cell injections and different things into the joints these days. If someone does go down the path of one of the three types of injections that you talked about, how often do they need it? How long do results last? Just kind of give people an idea about being able to battle this way instead of the surgery method. Right, like for somebody with chronic arthritis in their joints, I like the prolozone for that because it rebuilds the joint tissue, rebuilds the bone tissue and everything. Um, but that does take a series of injections, you know, usually about five or six injections. Um, but it's also very cost effective. You know, PRP is a lot more money, goes through the processing of what we have to do. Mm -hmm. And usually they only need one or two of those injections. Okay. Um, most of the time stem cells is a one shot deal. You know, so again, that's the quicker the fix. So for me, that does a lot of teaching, training, you know, hands on stuff. I don't have time to wait six to eight weeks. I needed something a lot faster. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of becoming like the stem cell queen right now. I've had my back done, my neck done. Well, do you know what? I actually think there's a whole, a whole other segment we should do on stem cells because I know people do have a lot of questions when it comes to that. So before we dive into that, though, I do want to come full circle. What are you hearing from patients, though, when you do start working with them, give them the right injection that their body needs for whatever may be going on? What's some feedback? Well, again, a lot of the feedback is that their pain's going away. They feel much better. They're able to walk better. They're moving better. You know, um, they're able to get back to their life, you know, because, again, if you have a knee injury, you're not going to be exercising for a while, mm -hmm. you know, so that gets you back into working out and exercising. I do suggest after most injections that they take it easy for three to four weeks, give the time, it time to heal. It's yes. not instantaneous because we do put pain medication in there to numb it up. So they feel really good for a couple of days. They think they can get back out yeah, there. No, 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 no. Well, again, it's always educational to talk with you. And if you want more information, right now is a great time to call. Because as a matter of fact, just for Morning Blend viewers, Dr. Linhart is going to give a special 15-minute consultation. There's the address you see on your screen along with the web address for more information and phone number. As always, Dr. Linhart, we appreciate your time. And we got to talk stem cells next time. Sound good? Absolutely. Dang.